Herman Cain dead at 74 from COVID. And then it says attended Trump Tulsa rally. Now, if you look in the small part of this article, it says again, and this is all a part of brainwashing and conditioning. It says Herman Cain dead at 74 from COVID-19 got sick after Trump Tulsa rally. Now, I became angry when I saw this because the man can't even die in peace for the Democrats and the fake news media politicizing his death. Now, John Lewis and a few other black Democrats died, but they didn't come out and say that they died from attending a Black Lives Matter protest march. They didn't say that. As a matter of fact, they keep putting it in the media, conditioning your mind to support that. So I wonder if Herman Cain is going to get the same type of respect. Now, I read a few other news uh, articles, and it basically said the same thing. He died after attending a Trump rally. But if you have any type of common, common sense, you should know that there's no way that they can pinpoint exactly where he contracted that if he died of COVID. Now, he's got a history of cancer, and they said he was at a higher risk, or people like him is at a higher risk because of the fact that they are cancer survivors, right? But to just flat out say he died of COVID, I have my opinions and doubts because since this whole COVID thing, no one has died from the flu. No one has died from heart complications. No one died from any other illness but COVID. Everybody dies from COVID nowadays, regardless of what you go to the hospital for. They're going to say it's COVID because that's how they make their money. They get paid for treating you, or for, better yet, for treating a COVID, a COVID patient. Now, this is what TMZ had to say. Herman Cain, once a GOP presidential hopeful, has died of COVID-19. Cain contracted the coronavirus after attending Trump's Tulsa rally. Now, why couldn't he have contracted it from any other place? Why did it have to be after? What about a... Uh, uh, Herman Cain went to the bathroom and after he came back from the bathroom, he had COVID. Or Herman Cain was at his job and after he left work, he contracted COVID virus. But no, they had to say after attending the Trump's rally. Like that's the only thing he had going on in his life. Like that's the only thing that he did after he attended the Trump rally. So regardless of what he did or where he went afterwards, it was the Trump rally where he got the coronavirus. It says the businessman and politician's death was announced Thursday on his website. A statement read, Herman Cain, our boss, our friend, like a father to so many of us, has passed away. And then it says again, Cain fell ill shortly after attending Trump's, uh, President Trump's rally in Tulsa on June 20th. He was hospitalized for about a month getting oxygen treatment, right? And then when you read down further, it says, Cain posed for a photo without a mask. Now, see, they're pushing that mask thing because... There's no way that a mask is going to protect you from coronavirus. It's just not going to happen. This is all a part of their agenda. Conditioning you, putting fear inside you. Oh, wow, Herman Cain died because he didn't wear a mask, so I have to now make sure I wear my mask. It says, Cain posed for a photo without a mask at the rally with a caption that read, 
here's just a few of the black voices for Trump at tonight's rally, having a f fantastic time. And then it says, remember, at the time of the rally, Oklahoma was in grips of a spike in coronavirus cases. Afterward, reports surfaced that Trump's campaign asked Tulsa venue, venue organizers to remove social distancing signs. Trump later canceled an Alabama rally out of fear of a COVID-19 outbreak. So they're making this whole article about Trump and his rally. They hardly said anything about Herman Cain. So listen, don't drink the Kool-Aid. And then later it says Cain's Twitter account had kept his followers up to date on his condition. And a post on Monday, just three days ago, read, doctors say his other organs and systems are strong and that restrengthening the lungs is a long and slow process. And the doctors want to be thorough about it. The post added, he really is getting better, which means it is working. Cain, who Trump once considered to run the Federal Reserve, is one of the highest profile uh, public victims of the coronavirus. He was 74, rest in peace. Now, again, my condolences to his family. Rest in power, Herman Cain. Now, I want to make a note to read what another news article wrote, NBC News. They are fake news media, but I also want to give them props for putting this at the very bottom of their article. <clears throat> it reads as follows. While there is no way to pinpoint, I'm going to read that point again. While there is no way, there is no way, again, there is no way to pinpoint exactly where he contracted the virus. Kane posted a photo of himself with others at the event, which showed him without a mask on. See, they pushing that mask again. See, so my question is, okay, if he contracted it from attending Trump's rally, but what about John Lewis and those other black Democrats or politicians that died of coronavirus after they attended a Black Lives Matter protest or rally or whatever you choose to call it? See, but yet they didn't even mention that. They might have said like, oh, he died of complications. Some may even say he died of coronavirus, but they don't really give pinpoint to where he was or where they think or allege that he might have contracted it. So don't don't drink the Kool-Aid. Um, my voice is a little raspy because I just woke up. So, but this is just this is just heart wrenching, man, because the man can't die in peace for them playing politics. See, the man died and all of a sudden they're making it about Trump now. And it's sad because on Facebook, I see so many black people reposting that, putting little emoji faces, like now they got to wear their mask. See, it's all about Trump and not trying to get him reelected. Do not drink the Kool-Aid. Until next time, I'm fearless.